Let us go and see in this lesson about how we can create our Android libraries and host it to our GitHub and later on a Git pack. So after we host it to our Git pack repositories, then later we can make use of that in our Android project. Uh, in our, we can add that to our dependency. Uh, so let's go and start. First of all, let's go and create our empty project and just click on next. And just give a name of your application, and I'll just say as a location GLPER, location helper, and the package name and the location where you want to save. And uh, we will be using a Java and the minimum API. And this should all you should be all familiar how to create your own project. So you should be familiar to do all of this before you learn how to create a libraries for your project so let's click on a finished and that should create our project for us and it will take a bit time to just to down download all of the required uh, dependency and after that has been done we can go to the file section over here and i will go to the new and i will go to the new module over here just click on this one and i'll just select the android library from here and just click on next so let's give a name for our application or a library name that we can use. I'll just say as a L-O-C-H-E-I-1 location, location H-E-L-P-E-R, location helper. So the library name, you can give any name that depending on what libraries you are creating, whether you are creating for your uh, camera or location or whatever the library, uh, for the package you are creating for. So the module name will be our location helper over here and the package name that should become that they want the, the location helper and the language we are using is Java and the minimum SDK for this package we will be put as a lollipop 5.0 so just click on finished and that should create a new package or a new module for us which you can see over here just go inside this and go to the Java section and uh, from here we just create a new java class inside our package i'll call this one as a location HELPER location helper and that's it just click on ok for now so we're just creating a simple class for here now just for a demo purpose and i already have some code over here i'll just copy that code and i'll just create a one method over here and that method i have is a uh, get distance in km so we should get which should return us a distance in a kilometer and that's is the static method so that's a simple method we have and you should be able to do all of this by your own like creating a new class and uh, putting your logic inside a method and so whatever your library is going to perform uh, because we are creating a library and the library will help us to perform or to use it in our project to do certain kind of work. So basically you should follow, put all of your logic inside here. And that's it, we create one simple class and we have one simple method that just to return us a distance in kilometer. So what I will do is I'll just build up this one. So just rebuild the project over here. And let's go to our GitHub project and you should have an account in a github already and if you don't have an account you just go and create a new account i have already an uh, account in a github and i will just go and let me go to the repositories over here and uh, let me create a new repositories and i will just click create a given name for my repository as a let's say L O C A T I O N H E L P R location helper and uh, description and just say as a and the Android location HLP helper to get a uh, get PIS PNC distance from that long. So that's it. I just give us some description over here and just click on a public. So we'll be creating a public repertories and just click on create repertories. So it should create a new repositories for us. And that's the link over here. And we need to create a 
run this command in our project. So uh, let's go back to the project and let me copy this one. And uh, let's go to the terminal over here and just run that command. And the next step is to run git init it git init. So make sure you have a uh, install or git for you. Uh, you need to have a uh, git install in your PC before you can make use of a git command. So make sure you have installed a git. And uh, let's go and see the next command what we have. We have a next command is the git. We have already run this command. Next is to this one to add a readme file. So depend on you whether you want to add a readme file or not. So let, let us just add a readme file and I'll just go over here and I'll just paste that command. And uh, next is to run, we should add a git add and dot. So that should add all of our files to a git repositories in our local. So that should add all of our files. So, okay, that should be done. And let's check the git status for now. So that's all the file is added, which means it's in green color. And uh, let's go to and we can we can commit and let's go let's go back and let's commit that change. So I said git to mmit commit and I just give a message and I will just say as I and I initial initial commit and just hit enter. And uh, let's go back. After that we have uh, this command to run so that should add a remote repository link. And uh, let me paste it over here. And let's go back again. And we have a final command just to push to our origin master. So that should that should push the, our project to GitHub. Sorry. Let me just copy it again. And let me paste it over here. So that should push our local repositories back to the github link so let's go back over here and if you go to this one and uh, just, uh, we should have our project over here already so that's it we have a project over here and uh, next thing is that we need to go to the release to make uh, uh, to make this project convert this project to our uh, release and so just click on release and we don't have any release so let's say i uh, create a new release and just give a version tag i will just say as a v1.0 this is a version tag and or i can just say as a 1.0.1 and uh, title name so this is a version so let's give a version one that or that one and i can just say as i and i t i l initial or the LEA release because this is just a first release and just publish that release so we have a released one one which is a version one so that should create a new release for us and uh, we should go now to uh jit pack we should go now to the jit pack and if you have you can just create a new account and just log in using a github account so i have already logged in over here and if i refresh this page and uh, that should uh, list all of my repositories over here and that's it the, the, the location helper that we just created is over here i can just click on that one and you can see the version name it uh, has already got the version name so you can see it's it's getting the log so the let us wait for this one to finish first it may take some time to uh you uh, to build up our project and do our compilation and convert it to our, our repositories like android libraries we are we are working with android libraries so that's converting all of our project so you can see the log is in a green color so green color basically means that it has been a successful and that's uh, all of your build is already done and everything is working fine so if you have a red color that means that it has some error so now which you can see it's a green color that means the build is successful 
so we can use that one so how to use that in our project is we can copy this link we just have to add that one so we need to copy this uh, marble just copy this and i will go back to the project and uh, let me add to my project over here so let's go back to the gradle script and i'll go to the I'll go to the project libraries, sorry, the first, the root uh, project Gradle build. Just click on the root Gradle build and over here on all repositories, you can see if you go back to over here, it says that, that all repository, all project and the repositories, we need to add that one. So after the J center, and let me add our repositories, which is Marvin, just synchronize this one. So you, you should add that one to your uh, root gradle, not in your module on the app. So after that, we add our repositories so to the Marvin, and we have synchronized it. And if, if there is no error, then the next step is to just go back and copy your the dependency, just to implement your. Uh, this is a implementation dependency that you need to add. So we'll go back to our project and let's go now to the Gradle build on a module app. So we have a three, three Gradle builds. This is a root one and this is for our Android app. And this, the Gradle build is for our module. So we will make use of a Gradle build app over here. And let's add our uh, project over the. This is the project github link as well as this is a library that we are adding so the tag is the version that we have to provide so let's go back and what is our version code with the version code is 1.0.1 so let's that add over here so 1.0.1 that's the tag we have and the tag if you remember it we have created on our here the tag that we created so that's the version we are using and uh, just synchronize this one after that. So the synchronization is successful and our libraries, so dependency has been successfully added for our location helper. So let's go to the main activity. And now what we can do is we can make use of our city and location helper. If you go over here, we should get a location helper over here, which is coming from com.richard.location helper. That's the package name that we created, right? So that uh, make sure you have your package name is unique because that should not conflict with any other package that's already inside your your library so we will use a location helper and we have one static method we can just get a get distance that's our method that we have and just provide the parameter or let's say zero comma zero comma comma zero so we have a four parameter to pass and that's it so that's uh when we are able to make use of our sorry let's get our uh, flo float and i will just say as a distance so distance and just so that's it uh, we are able to make use of a package inside our app so now you this package can be used any on any of the project that we can create so just make we have to add the marvin uh, repositories and on our we just have to implement our library that we just created. so it's a great that we have created a library and it's very useful and basically when we are dealing with a lot of code and we make uh, libraries and it's also helpful for us and also helpful for other people so you don't have to rewrite the code again and again so that's it for this lesson and if you enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe me and hope i will see you in the next video till then have a great day